Good morning, Cormac Two students. This is your week seven, lesson three. And this is all about circle equations. So we've done a lot with circles, but what about circles in the coordinate plane? So just as a quick refresher on the definition for a circle, it's the set of points that are equidistant from the center. So it's not the disc and it's not the space inside of it. The circle is literally just the ring, just the ring. So if we want points to be equidistant from a center location, that means that the distance formula is in play here and that it's set to be a certain distance. So how does that look in an equation? Well, it looks like this in parentheses, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, and it's equal to r squared. So what are all these letters? Well, h and k are coming from the center point. X and Y remain variables and are showing that they're, well, a specific distance from this H and K center location. Meanwhile, R is the radius. So if we see a picture like in example one, and our job is to determine the equation, the first thing that we want to do is locate the center. So thinking about our coordinate plane and how we start at the origin, if I count to the left one, two, three, that's what puts me in line with that center. So the x value is negative 3. From that center point, if I count down 1, 2, 3, 4, that puts me in line with the center. That means the y value is negative 4. So the coordinate pair for the center is negative 3, negative 4. And if I want to know the radius, I should look out to the edge, either straight right or straight up or straight down or straight left so that we can use the axes to basically help us count that distance for the radius. So this radius is three units. So if we put this together in our formula, x minus h, x minus a negative three, well, that's a double negative, so it's really x plus three squared. And then when we add on the y minus k, y minus negative four, Again, that's a double negative, so this is really y plus 4 squared. And it's equal to the radius squared. Well, 3 squared is 9. So 9 would be in our equation. And that would be the equation for this circle. If we take a look at example 2, just another uh, problem for a little more practice. Determine the equation. Once again, let's locate the center. So that center is 2 units over and 1 unit up. So the x is 2 and the y is 1 for the center. Meanwhile, the radius, if we go straight right or straight up or down or left, that radius is 1 unit. So when we go through putting x minus h squared and y minus k squared, well, in with the x, we would add x minus 2. This one was a positive, so we actually get to see the minus from our formula. And we have y minus the y value, so y minus 1, and it's equal to r squared. 1 squared is just 1. So that would be our final equation for that center, for that circle. So take these examples, take that formula, and head on over to Delta Math to practice this.